This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course, Unit 3 of it, Animation and Games, Lesson 18, Collisions, Part 4. All right, I see a bunch of code here. I want to know what it does. Boom. Uh-oh, elephant. Oh, it's going by. Okay, weird. And do we add animations in this one? Nope, but those are some good ones. All right, let's see. Write your own sprite interaction. Cool. In the last level, you should have written code for your sprite interaction that you develop with your classmates, which we did. If you didn't, go back to the last level. I have the, uh, a tutorial on that if you're stuck. This time, try to write a program on your own. But you can use the patterns you saw in the last level. And by patterns, they mean what we are doing with the movement, right? With the velocity. Do this. The elephant should push the hippo off the screen. Notice the elephant moves at a random Y velocity each time the program runs. I didn't notice. Oh, look how fast. Zoom. How about now? Slow. How about now? Faster. How about now? Sorry. Okay. Um, yes. Using a pattern from the level, write code that makes the elephant push the hippo off. Ooh, so they're going to be tricky. So... If it is moving at a random velocity, if the elephant's always moving at a random velocity, how can we make sure that it would push off the hippo? So if you're thinking, well, knowing from last level, we do want this if statement, okay? And then I'm going to get rid of this and this. And an if statement needs a conditional. We're checking a condition. Every time I'll draw a loop runs, which is 25-ish times a second, it checks the if statement to see if it's true. So if, and what we want is touching, whoop, and we have nothing called sprite, we have this variable elephant. So if elephant is touching hippo, what do we want to have happen? Well, we want the hippo to be moving, right? So let's see here. Let's look at our grid. Um, remember zero, zero is, zero for y is up here, zero for x is over here. So if we want to move X up, is Y increasing or decreasing? Hint, look at Y, it's decreasing, right? Because zero is at the top. So we want to subtract from Y. So let's grab our velocity. Boom. And then if I look up here, I can kind of cheat. What's the velocity of the elephant? Well, it's this random number. So I'm going to do hippo. And I'm going to grab a random number. Oh, good. They didn't even give it to us. And that is a hint. They don't want us to use another random number block because this wasn't going to work. You want to make a variable every time random number runs. Every single time. So every time I hit run, it generates a new random number. If I did have a second random number block, it would move at a different speed than this random number. They would generate two totally different random numbers each time. How we can get around that is we can make a variable, okay? And then in our variable, which needs to come before the velocity, in our variable, we can make it equal to a random number. And then we don't want to call it x, though. Um, I'm going to call it, I don't know, speed or velocity. Yeah, V-E-L. Nah, I like speed. Not technically accurate, but then I want to make this elephant's velocity equal to speed, right? Equal to whatever speed this is, that's going to be what it's equal to. So if this comes out negative 2, elephant will move negative 2. And now, since it only generates the random number once, speed will equal negative 2 every time we use it in this program. Next time we run it, speed might be 1.5. But that means we can have two things equal this same random number as opposed to using the random number block, which would generate a different random number here and if we had it down here, right? So is touching hippo, hippo velocity, same as elephant. Let's check out if it works. Bah, hippo. Awesome, and that looked good to me, so uh, we did it. And again, what we needed was a variable here. I named mine speed. You could keep yours as x or velocity, whatever you want. But then you need to make sure to set the elephant's velocity here and the hippo's velocity here in your if statement where you're checking if they're in contact.
Great, I'm gonna keep going.